Time travel. Is this something of pure science fiction? Or is this a real-life possibility for you in this exact version of reality? Welcome to Quantum Catalyzers. Imagine this. You step into a time portal. It's similar to the concept of a time machine, but it's actually real rather than being within fictitious imagination. You step into a time portal and travel through space and time. You do not travel back in time. You travel through an eternity of potential moments in time, all simultaneously existing in this exact now moment. You enter a parallel dimension of mirrored expressions of your one consciousness throughout the infinite eternities of singularities of now moments. And in order to step into this time portal, you must have an intention, some form of a desired destination although you know deep down that the journey is the entire purpose. And so you step into this time portal, your consciousness expanded with the knowing of infinity and eternity simultaneously existing in infinite potentiality in this singular now moment. courageously humbled into an exalted expression of expanded awareness. And you step into a time portal. But you must have an intention, dear soul. What has brought you here? What magic dances throughout the streams of your heart that invites you into this time portal? What element of your journey and what aspect of yourself has beckoned you into this brand new invitation, an opportunity to traverse space and time itself boldly, intending to reunify with the you that you never knew? Is this your intention, dear soul? To reunify with the you you never knew? The you that existed beyond the experience? Is that your intention? Are you so daring to open this gateway of possibility? Are you so bold and brilliantly brave to dance through the cosmic galaxies and dare to reunify with the infinite totality of your true nature? Yes. It is time and you are ready. And this moment has been waiting for you, just like you have been waiting for it, even though you did not yet know it. And so you step into a time portal with the intention to reunify with the you you never knew. And with that singular intention, it bounces into the cosmos, it ripples past space-time itself and into the quantum field of divine consciousness where it boomerangs and bounces and blissfully glides and floats and swirls and swims and dances and begins to bounce around through every now moment you have ever experienced in this life and every now moment that had a potential for existing in between the now moments that did occur. And as this intention boomerangs and bounces Throughout every now moment, there's this infinite space and every now moment is represented by a circle and this boomerang of intention goes and it bounces like each circle is a trampoline and boing! 
And this intention like a boomerang spirals throughout this endless space of trillions of circles, each representing a specific now moment and every moment of now in between those that could have potentially been had a single thought or movement been slightly different. And the intention goes and bounces off these moments of experience. But in that space, there is a more significant quantum catalyst activated in this process. What have you started? <laughs> what have you started with your intention to know the you that you've never known? The whole quantum field is gurgling with possibility, churning with potential, vibrating incessantly with a desire to expand your own essence. And so there's a more significant quantum catalyst occurring in this moment. And of course, this moment is eternal and encompasses every potential moment that could ever possibly be, including those that have been. And so while this boomerang of intention bounces off these circular trampoline-like structures in this infinite quantum field, each one symbolizing a now moment of potential expression of the essence of yourself, your true self, your infinite soul. The more significant quantum catalyst activated through the power of your intention is that not only is this boomerang bouncing off every moment, but it is activating every part of you. How many parts of you could there be, you wonder? I, I know I'm a complex being. I, I know I have many facets and aspects to myself, but how many aspects could there possibly be? An infinite amount. To put it in numbers, Conceptualize trillions, but know that it is far beyond that, for there are just trillions of self-aspects of your soul within this one singular human vessel and this one individuated lifetime. But even that cannot contain the fullness of all that you are. And so every aspect of you that has ever been or could ever be or is existing beyond that which is the known manifested potentials of existence. Your intention ripples through all of eternity, vibrating through the cosmos and activating every part of you. Beyond the you you have known, beyond the you you have been, beyond the you you conceive of, perceive, and receive, the you beyond the potential use, the you beyond the you you've never known. Even those parts of you are activated into the awareness of your presence and the presence of your awareness. And so you step into this time portal and you could take it nice and slow. Maybe choose a specific now moment you wish to return to. Sure, perhaps you'd like to travel through time and space to that childhood version of you. Perhaps you would like to go to a very particular moment or maybe a particular age or time period and activate that aspect of your divine consciousness and that version of a now moment as all simultaneously exist in full access to the awareness of your consciousness right here, right now. And perhaps you'd like to look into the eyes of that childhood you. And perhaps there is something you wish to say or even sing into their soul. 
but more likely you simply wish to gaze into their eyes and feel that captivating bond of wholeness and unity and that sense of completion within your own omnipresent heart space. Perhaps you really just want to look into their eyes and feel the essence of their innocence restored into your own being, the purity of their heart activating the unconditional love within you. Perhaps you just want to feel how it feels to be so whole because the littlest parts of you are now seen in a somatic and tangible way as you meet them face to face, eye to eye. Perhaps there is a time period of life you wish to travel back to because you miss that you that had been. You miss the way you used to play. You miss the way you used to laugh. You miss the way you used to feel marvel and wonder at the everyday moments and dangle your legs off bench swings and cuddle sacred animals and look at birds in the sky like, oh my goodness, I've never seen something like this before. Perhaps there's a part of you that had a sense of your persona in fullest expression that you miss. And maybe that was as a very young child or somewhere in between then and the you that you exist within form as now. Maybe you just want to play with them. Maybe you just want to laugh with them. Maybe you just want to sing with them. Maybe you just want to tell jokes with them. Maybe you just want to tell some stories of your favorite moments and tell stories about how parts of you lived happily ever after and you rewrite your own existence by cherishing those positive moments where you experienced love in its fullest expression. Or perhaps you would step into that time portal and should you take it slow by choosing an individuated moment of experience to step through into? Of course, you are not traveling back in time, but you are traveling through time as all now moments that have ever been, ever are, ever could be, and the potential for all that could have existed in between each moment had a tiny detail shifted its trajectory. All moments simultaneously existing in this exact moment you are beckoned into as you step into this time portal. And so if you want to take it slow as you step into this time portal by choosing individuated moments of experience, perhaps you wish to step through into moments of relational encounters. Those moments where your body-mind was learning how to orient with its existence by interacting with the body-minds of others before the awareness of your consciousness had the power that you now have. And perhaps you wish to step through this time portal into those moments and interject into those experiences of socially engaging with other people and look yourself straight in the eyes and give those parts of you the unconditional love that they always deserve to experience. To help guide those parts of you to meet their body-mind as a vessel and a temple of sacred, sovereign, holy, space, magnificent, grounded essence of your soul. And interject into the stories that have been written across your body, mind, and projected into the realities of your consciousness. And so perhaps you step into that time portal, into the specific moments of relational encounters. Literally any type of moment where you interacted with any other type of person in any other type of setting at any period throughout your entire life. And instead of looking at the experience of what was happening or how that happening is now recorded within the energies of your beingness, you let all of that go and instead you step right in front of the you that was and you look them directly in the eye and you use the non-verbal language of your body and the mind of the essence of your soul to commune with them through eye contact. And as you gaze into their eyes, they know exactly what you mean. 
They know exactly what you're trying to say and they feel it. And you feel them feeling it because the energies of that interaction with that moment are now being rewritten inside of your body. You are rewriting the history of your existence in a quantum catalyzer of transcendent magic and miraculous wonder. And you step into this time portal through time and space in this singular eternal now moment encompassing every now moment and you can select the time period of life or the specific circumstantial experiences or the particular energies of your consciousness flowing through your body mind or you from that one moment in space time or you in dozens of parallel space time moments where you are encountering something similar within these relational encounters and instead of looking at experience you look directly into the eyes of that version of you and you rewrite those moments and how they are stored in your body mind now and projecting personal experience into your consciousness now and thus impacting the body mind and the consciousness of every part of you from every potential now moment. Or perhaps you step into that time portal through space and time and you go to some of the absolute worst, most horrible, stressful, terrorizing, horrifying experiences of your life, but not for a single moment do you ever see the experience in doing so. This time portal has been meticulously programmed so that you do not actually see any detail of what is occurring in those extremely unpleasant scenarios of now moments from a previous version of your now. And so this time portal is very meticulously encoded to support you so that you do not need to look at the painful experiences of the past to perceive the present existence of your essence within a human form who went through those things and is now needing your loving liberation. And you step into those moments of now where you can look directly into the eyes of those parts of yourself and you do not see the experience. You only see them. And this other aspect of you is no longer entangled in the web of experience or pain, they are freed by your loving presence and they immediately look into your eyes and they are welcomed home into the loving liberation of your sacred sovereign soul essence. And those past moments that seemed so insurmountable, so monumentally horrifying, terrifying, horrific, painful, excruciating, those moments that you thought you could never come back from, those moments you've felt like they took a part of you you would never get to know again, those experiences that felt like they took an aspect of your essence ripped straight out of your chest and you would never know what it felt like to be reunited with them. You could have never imagined feeling freed from such terrifying pains. But now those experiences are fading away and they're no longer in your awareness. They can't touch you anymore because the you right here right now is looking directly into the eyes of those parts of your essence and they are welcomed home. And the power of your love ripples into the quantum field of every now moment that has ever been and rewrites how the experience is affecting your inner experience, sir, right here, right now. Leaving 
those experiences where they belong, in a black hole in the quantum field, locked up and gone forever because the parts of you that were in them are now free and here with you. So the parts of you who experience those past moments, they're not in the black hole, not in the quantum field, with those particulars of those painful experiences. Instead, those parts of you are finally reunited with the totality of your essence right here, right now. And the past can't touch any part of you anymore because those parts of you are welcomed home. They are lovingly liberated. And so perhaps you take it slow and you take it gentle and easy and keep things simple in terms of what this time portal is capable of and what your consciousness is ready for. Perhaps you take it slow and gentle and you maybe start with dipping your toe in and going to these types of moments and looking straight into the eyes of these, the essence of these parts of yourself. That innocent young child, the playful child that held a part of your persona you miss so much, or the younger, more innocent, tender aspects so dependent on care. Or perhaps you go to those parts of you who had some type of interaction with some type of person. Perhaps it was family or friends or co-workers or neighbors or perhaps they were very good experiences or perhaps they were very much the opposite. But maybe you go back to those moments of social engagement and you come eye to eye with those parts of you and you get to rewrite the data in your body mind created from each of these now moments while reunifying with those aspects of your essence in a tangible somatic way you feel it in the cells of your body you feel it ripple through every wave of your own energy perhaps you wish to not be as specific as these intentions to connect with parts of you from certain periods of your personal experience, certain self-aspects who you'd like to look into the eyes of, perhaps it serves you and supports your intention of loving liberation and to expand into the potential of meeting the you you've never known you beyond the you that is the you-ness of you beingness perhaps it serves you to be more vague and generalized so that you might open even more doors than you can imagine to meet parts of yourself in new ways within and beyond experience perhaps you direct your energy towards a focal point within this time portal of potential, infinite possibility beckoning to you deeper and louder than ever in silent whispers of unspoken destinies through uncharted territories that only the map of your soul knows how to navigate. And so you might choose to step into this time portal and travel through conceptualizations of time and space and move beyond that into the expansion of your consciousness in order to meet any part of you that needs to meet you and for you to meet every part of you that you need to meet and in this space you expand in ways that you never imagined possible you never could have expected confronting you as you gaze into the eyes of parts of yourself who need to meet you now and parts of yourself that you need to meet So perhaps you just take it slow and gentle and easy and light and 
explore something like this or you know because that's really just the beginning of what this time portal is capable of it's not just that you can step through time and space and rewrite how every now moment that has been or could be is written through the projection of your consciousness and encoded into the cells of your body-mind. That's just barely the tip of the iceberg of what this time portal is capable of. But maybe you want to do more than that. Maybe it's not enough to rewrite how decades of experiences of that young innocent you or that young playful you or the you who's interacted with the body minds of hundreds and thousands of people throughout years and maybe decades of experience and the you who has gone through some unpleasant times, stressful times, painful times, maybe even traumatic times. Maybe it's not enough to rewrite how decades of experience are stored inside of your body mind and affecting projections of your consciousness. Maybe it's not enough to reunify with those dozens and hundreds or thousands of aspects of yourself. Maybe you want more. Maybe you want to see the full potential of this time portal in its highest modality of activation. Maybe you want to see more. Maybe you want to do more. Maybe you want to be more. Maybe you want to have more. Maybe you want to meet the you that you've never known. What does that mean? How can you meet a you you've never known? Once you meet them, you would know them, and if all now moments exist simultaneously, then it's not possible for there to be a you that you don't know fully, because the potential for that is in a now moment, with all now moments simultaneously existing in this version of eternity. So how could there be a you that you have yet to know? Welcome to Quantum Catalyzers.